friends, today's project, excuse the glare, because I have a glass piece behind here, it's going to be doing that. So um, excuse the glare. So today's project, we are making some shaker uh, skulls. So here is one. And um, you can do whatever kind of background you want. Here's a clear one. And I used a Pasca pen as well as some uh, glass marking, um, glass paint. Um, they didn't work as well as I thought they should, but the Pasca pen I used first and then went over it with a little bit of black um, deco art glass paint markers. So this is the clear what it would look like. And I'm not sure if you would have that as a pour, you know, on top of something. It looked really cute. But I tried both ways um, to see what I liked best. So I got some little glitter, nail glitter actually in there. And this one, I just have cart, uh, actually, um, paper from computer paper. I couldn't think of the name. Computer paper in there. So that's my shaker card. And you can have any kind of sequence that you'd like. So I'm going to come down and we're going to do these three right here. So I have my glass behind me so I don't cause any burning on my, um, back on my paper here and cause any problems. I have the glitters up above and I'm just going to do these for you today and I'm going to leave a little uh, bottom to here opening so then I can add the glitter and you can do any shapes you can do ghosts you can do pumpkins which would be really cool with an orange paper in the back and looking like a, a jackie lantern um, I chose skulls because I've been doing a theme of skulls and have your uh, wood burning tool very hot And I think it would be really cool, and I'm going right up to the little, uh, where it's opened and the end goes a little smaller, so then it'll be easier for me to open when I fill it up. And I'm going to go to my next one. I'm going to go right up to here and just go around. The paper is inside, and the glass is behind the surface so then I am not burning my paper underneath. See? That's the glass right there. And you can do this with, I said, jack-o'-lanterns. You can do it with uh, any shapes you'd like for the season. I'm just going to straighten out this paper. And you cut skulls, you design them, and I'm leaving them fairly plain. Um, I just designed them a little bit to show that they are nice skulls. And then you put your your paper behind there. So I'm just going to go and cut these out now. So that is done. And they kind of come just right out, but at the end here where I didn't go across, I, I'm just going to cut a little slice there. And you can see that it overlaps so I can stick my finger in there easily, close it on the neck or on the bottom chin part. Anywhere where it's too stuck still, you might want to go over it with scissors so you don't break the seal. I was inspired by seeing um, a fellow crafter doing some nice bows, and I'm going to put her link below because I cannot remember her, her name at all right now. So I will put her link to her video that inspired me to do this. And then there's so many different things we can do with these afterwards. Um, and I think I might be able to make another video and showing some ideas on how to use these fun little pieces. You can use them in Happy Mail or um, whatever. You can use them in Happy Mail or um, making some decor for the season. So I'm cutting a piece of paper like this and I'm just going to make a little valley. And my dogs are just barking like crazy. Make a little valley so I can scoop up. This is the nail art stuff, so it's very fine. And I'm scooping up a little bit, pinching my neck open a bit. And if you get on the other side, it doesn't matter. And then you get the paper in there, and it works really well. 
the little valley scoop. And there's some orange. Fill it up as much as you want. What else was I going to put with orange? I could put some blue white. And you could do any size sequence as well. So I have some in the back as well, but hey, it's okay. And I didn't write my name or anything, but you can write your name and your information on the back before you cut it all out. I'm going to try a little bit. Boy, they are ever singing to each other. There. Try a little green. You could do the larger sequence as well. It would be fun. And even seed beads would be fun. And there we go. That's that one. These are just fine, fine seeds. I'm going to grab whatever I have left off after on my last one and just pull it over the edge of the glass into my into my character here, my skull. So I'm just pushing that together and it's opening it up, putting my thumb in. I know this part's hard to see. It's opened up. Find whatever way it holds it open the best. Kind of just play with it until you get the little hole to open and stay open. So now he's open. I'm going to grab some gold. Some navy blue. And just whatever colors that kind of I want to throw in there. And there's another shaker. This one's got quite a bit going on in there. You can do bat shapes and, like I said, any kind of shape you want. And here's the next one. I think I'll just do like a purple and a pink. doesn't matter what colors you do. My dogs are really going crazy for some reason. All right. Nice pink. That's nice and light color and a little scoop of purple. And I'll go do a little bit of the white or oh, iridescent. And there we go. Nice pretty one. And I actually was going to scoop this up. Forgot. Dogs distracted me, but it's okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal them up. And then they'll be done. That piece. This little cheek here is open a bit. I'm just going to reseal it up to against the paper. You can just shake it up a little bit to see if it's sealed properly everywhere. Now he's not losing any. Oh, maybe a little bit right here. Seal it up a bit. Now he's not losing any. And you just go around the paper. Give a, leave a little space, but then if you have to fix anything, you can even just barely, you could just touch the edges of paper like this to fix anything that's not sealed. Going around the whole piece, turning this off now so it's all safe and turned off. And that is it. That's my little shakers for you guys. Isn't that cute? And you could do any size glitter, you can do any shape of the season that you want to play with. These could be good for pocket letters. And this one's leaking over here. Um, and Happy Mail and that kind of thing, um, tags, and other things. So I'm just, I'm going to have some ideas coming up on what how you can use these. So don't worry about any ideas of not having any ideas because I have plenty to share. So that's about that for this little video. I hope you like it. I know it's short. Sometimes the short ones are just as sweet because they got. Some neat ideas. All right, that was still off, but um, checking now to make sure.
just to go around the edge. Seal that down. It's cooling off, but it's not cooling off so fast that I can't seal it still. There we go. So that is about it, guys. I hope you like that idea and give it a try with any kind of shapes that you like. And don't forget to, uh, yeah, craft like a duck, and I'll talk to you guys later. Try out your little shaker skulls. Bye, guys.